Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions Part 18. I'm fairly sure this is Part 18. But in the last part we had Ray head on over to the consignment store. So we're going to have her um, try and look for something to buy. Let's see if we can get our hands on anything. Because last time we came we got our hands on a time travel machine. Which was really freaking cool and... I was so impressed by that, so we're gonna see if we can find anything cool again, kind of like some little special gems, um, oh okay, so these are our on sale items, they're not very, they're not going for very much, bless them, but that's fine, um, music box with ninja, nope, kinda don't want that, Oh, the lonely unicorn music box. I feel like we should just get that because it's a lonely unicorn. But we're not going to because we need to save up our money for sure. Um, Yeah, there's really not much on offer right now. So I don't think we're going to buy anything. Sorry to let you down, Sophia. But oh, look who's here. Juan. He's our, um, he's one of our uh, co-workers. So we're going to introduce ourselves and, um, a sim fest is starting at Porter Party Mini Warehouse. You know what? I feel... Oh, she's sculpting. Okay, well, we're going to send... I think we're going to send Ray over to the concert. Because why not? It's, um... We're going to go watch the sim fest. It is snow day. We're going to have her, um... Chill out. He is actually... Where are you? Okay, he is going to head on over to the party. So the party is right next to the Sim Fest, which is kind of cool. Maybe whichever one finishes first, we'll send the other one over. Uh, she is currently, she is on uh, Eva's bike, which is quite funny. Oh, has the Sim Fest ended? We're going to go visit there anyway, see if anything's on. And um, yeah, I don't know why it basically ended. She has minty breath. Oh, from the floor hygieniator. Okay. Um, weird. Ooh, Charlie got a promotion. I was wondering what that sound was. Charlie has been conferred the new title of paranormal expert. Counsel in recognition. Oh, in recognition of his valuable contributions. Blah de blah de blah. You are the purveyor of poltergeist, the banisher of banshees, the eradicator of evil. Not only have you vanquished some of the most terrifying spectres out there, you freed troubled souls from eternal suffering, both dead and alive. Many times over, you are a true hero. Charlie can now use the spirit project positioning device in map view to locate wayward spirits all over town your reward can be found in his inventory and he's completed his lifetime reward which is crazy that means we could possibly get a simbot we could use charlie's um charlie's lifetime reward points on a simbot i think i think we should I really do think we should. And Eva is a sculpting level 9. All the sacrifices born for this craft were worth it. Eva has reached the top and is quite deserving of wealth and fame. The way to that wealth is by producing masterpiece sculptures, which she has a good chance of doing at this level. Masterpieces sculptures are highly prized and sell for a good chunk of simoleons. Awesome. That means she's going to start getting a lot more money for her work. I cannot believe Charlie just did that. He wants to master the logic skill, which I'm fairly sure we will do. He has got this spirit positioning device. Let's activate it. I want to see what this does. So Charlie, activate that. And let's let's see if we can find wayward spirits in the whole of Twinbrook. Okay, and then we go into map view. <gasps> Look, there's a spirit hidden over here. And there's a spirit hidden over here oh my goodness just in this house we can do like extra work what scan for spirits let's go do it let's go scan let's see if we can find this wayward spirit no one even lives here <laughs> like this is legitimately just like an empty home and there's just a, a random spirit wandering around Ray is currently over here. Is the Simfest going on? 
Um, no, no one's performing. <laughs> okay. Apparently it's a hotspot, but no one's performing. Who is this? Uh, Bill Ott. Oh, he's quite cute. Is there another mixologist around here? Yep. Yeah. Bob. Bob. <laughs> oh, he's very cute. You know what, Ray? We are going to come and order a drink from Bob. We are going to get a, um, we're going to get a flaming Whalen. And we are going to spill our sorrows to Mr. Bob over here. Because why not? He's at the party. I feel like everything's going off at the minute. There's so many. Oh, look at his little formal wear. I am such a fan of Bo's formal wear. Like, I love it. If a guy dressed like this, I'd just be like, you are awesome. I want to be your friend. Please, can we be best friends forever? Because that outfit is amazing. You are rocking the yellow, the orange and blue combination. Like, that is awesome. <gasps> we could come steal this car. It's not that nice, actually. I want a really nice car for her to steal. And I forgot that those are probably in our family inventory that she stole last time. So I think we're actually going to, we have so many cars. <laughs> Which ones can we sell for like the best price? 1,035, 1,083, 1,400. Well, we're gonna sell that one and we'll sell that one as well. I think we should keep Goodwins. I don't know, I feel like Goodwins we, um, we could give back to him at some point because I feel mean taking Goodwins just because he's such a nice person. But she's currently still making her ice sculpture. And did you scan for spirit? Oh yeah, the spirit's here. Ooh. This means we can earn more money as well. Let's banish this spirit. Because we can. Because we're badass. <laughs> oh, we have so much in common. I'd love to get to know you better. I bet you would. There's two spirits over here, apparently. So we're going to head on over here and scan for spirits again. Did he even get that one? I don't think he did. Oh well. Let's go flirt with this bartender. <laughs> we should get... No, not this one. I don't want to flirt with him. Ugh. No, I want to flirt with... Where's Bob? There he is. Let's go order a um, stomach churner. That sounds horrendous, but I kind of want it. And he's still flirting with us. Charlie's scanning for spirits, so um, let's head on over to him. Yep, look, he just whips it out. Not that, not that kind of whipping it out. That would be rude, and he'd probably be arrested for that. Um, I meant his ghost scanner. This is really cute. Look at this little bridge over here. Oh, and here are the ghoulies. Let's banish them. Go away, ghouls. And we can sell these. So Charlie's just earning extra money, basically. And even if he leaves this profession, he'll still have this in his inventory. So we can probably still scan for ghosts, which is really good. We can still make money off being a ghost hunter as a side job. Hopefully we keep our Banshee Banisher because that would be good if we kept it. If we got to keep it, I'd like it. You guys should let me know if that happens. <gasps> she made a freezer bunny. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. Look. A freezer bunny in ice. It's Lenny the evil freezer bunny. <gasps> I want it. Can I keep this? I really want it. I really want it. I love freezer bunnies. You guys know by now my love for freezer bunnies. If someone made this, I would genuinely keep it. But we're going to sell it. Because why not? We get to sell it, so we may as well. To so sell that, I thought it'd be worth a bit more, to be honest. Considering she's a level 9, you can carry on inventing. And then, mister, what do I want to do with you? He has 59,000 lifetime reward points. So we're going to quickly check out the lifetime rewards and see what we can buy. I think we're going to go ahead and get the Simbot one. Because I've had a look through the Ambitions lifetime rewards and a lot of them are to do with artists and inventors and stuff like that and I although I kind of did want um I kind of wanted Eva to make our Simbot for us I feel like we could just do it now 
We could just do it. My best friend. A sim bot joins the family with best friend relationship status with the sim who chooses this lifetime wish and I think I'm gonna go for it. This came with ambitions. For those of you who don't have ambitions or didn't know that this came, sim bots did come with them and they are different from plum bots which came with into the future. They're a completely different type of robot. They're basically like servos. If you have Sim wa Sims 1, you know what servos are and they're kind of like servos. So we're gonna purchase it. <gasps> we now have a Sim bot. Leonard Piper, where is he? Where's Leonard? I have no idea. Um, okay, she sold a smasher. Your new best friend is on the way. Uh, but where is he? He's on his way. Okay. He went to a community school. What? He is clumsy, handy, brave. He's still not arrived yet, that, yet though. Um, no thanks, Shark. L Charlie, why don't you go home? He wants to pillow fight with Leonard. I love how he's called Leonard. That's an incredible name. That's adorable. I love it. I want Leonard to be our best friend forever. <laughs> I'm so glad we just spent our lifetime award on Leonard. I just want to see him now though. So um, maybe, who knows, in the future we could have two Simbots. Maybe when Eva gets better at her, um, her inventing skill, maybe we'll also have another one. Hello buddy, let's be best friends together. We can scour the junkyard for scrap, compare oil brands and enjoy trivial entertainments. What fun! Oh my goodness, Leonard, I love you. But dude, I think you should uh, get inside. He wants to join the military career. I don't think that's the best thing to do. Um, scrap reserves. Does he have to eat scrap? I think he genuinely has to eat scrap. Maybe we should give some to him. Um, you have some in your inventory. Um, I don't want to sell... I don't want to do it multiply. Um, can we give like one unit of scrap to him? This is gonna take a while. <laughs> We're just gonna give him a couple of scraps just so he can take it. And um, I don't know if he eats it or not. Hopefully, that would be kind of cool. But that means we have to go to the scrapyard a lot more than we were. <laughs> um, I think you should get inside. Don't think it's a good idea. Yep, he eats scrap. Head in here. And um, let's see his relationships. So he's strangers with everyone else. And Bo is still at the party. Ray is still playing video games. Eva, you can stop that and head in here. Um, because I think she's going to get on well with Leonard. But look at him. Look at him walking along like a little robot. He's kind of mucky. <laughs> Charlie's like, I don't like him. <laughs> Right, why don't you come over here and uh, let's get to know him a little bit. I've got a feeling she could be really good friends with this Simbot. Leonard, what? He's my bae. I love him already. Leonard, move out of the way. Leonard, go here. And then you can come in here. <laughs> and then you can go talk to him. So we're going to get to know him a little bit. Charlie's gonna probably burn the house down actually he's making salad ha he can't burn the house down <laughs> um ray why don't you head home you've had a good night oh he's good friends with this dude charlie just grasped the bakes it's oh my goodness listen to his voice come on talk leonard oh <gasps> this is so cool Right, we're going to make a silly face, tell him a funny story, show him a cat's video, <laughs> show a gross video, and show a funny video. I don't know if he'll like cats. Do robots like cats? I can see cats being quite scared of him. Um, right, we're going to cancel out of that and save this one. Because she wants to make a masterpiece, which is worth like 7,000. I also quickly want to check the lifetime rewards for her. Because there are a lot that help with her. Um, so let's see what we can get. She can get 
She has 33,000. Okay, that means she can get two of the ones I want her to get. Um, but I technically can't remember what they are. Where are they? Um, Sims with an entrepreneurial mindset earn experience more quickly and tend to reach the top of their careers. That's kind of good. Um, but I kind of don't want her to be that. Hmm. I don't know which one to be. Let me quickly look this up and I will be back with you guys in a second. Okay, here we go. So this is one that I want. This is the artisan artesian crafter and this is 20,000 small uh, lifetime points and artesian crafters create higher quality inventions and sculptors that are more valuable when sold. So we're going to purchase that one. And then there is also the efficient inventor, which is 10,000 simoleons. Um, where is it though? Efficient inventor. Efficient inventors are able to tinker and create more inventions with less scrap, which is going to come in handy for her. So we're going to purchase that as well. So she now has both of those, which is awesome. That means she can tend to uh, make more money, which is always a good thing for us. She is on her way home. Um, how long until you get a promotion? I feel like we should keep Charlie. I don't know. You guys should comment down below whether you want Charlie to like leave his job straight away and just become a um, an investigator because I am looking forward to doing that career. I definitely want to do it at some point. So um, yeah, comment down below if you want him to either stay in his stay in his ghost hunting job a little bit more. But we've kind of seen all the things that come with ghost hunting. Like we've seen all the different types of jobs that come with it. And um, yeah, you guys should just let me know on that one. Tell me how you feel about Charlie joining the um, investigator career. Because I think he'll be really good at it. Uh, we're going to tell a funny story and we're going to show a funny video again. Bo, why don't you... Mm, actually, we're going to scout out this house. He wants to discuss fashion with Leonard. <laughs> okay. This house has quite a lot, actually. We could definitely, we could definitely steal from here. Okay, Eva. That's what I want you to do, girl. Eva, I want you to head on over here and um come into this room so head on over here we're gonna try and steal this computer i don't know if she will or not like who knows you can ne never tell what eva's gonna take <laughs> she's kind of a wildfire in which she could like just take she could take this lamp there could be a computer sat right there right in front of her and she could take a lamp or a bookcase or blinds for all we know so I don't know how well this is going to go down. Everyone is flirting with Bo right now. All I'm hearing are like Sims whistling at us. Oh, this is Kat. <laughs> the one we gave the horrendous makeover to at one point. Way, way back at the very beginning of this Let's Play. This seems so long ago now. He's mooching food off him. Aw. That's so mean. Simbots prefer to eat scrap metal over normal food. Though Simbots don't have bladders, they still build up waste. Make use of a standard toilet when waste buildup reaches critical mass. Um, oh, he needs a bed. I forgot about that. Maybe we'll have him and Charlie have bunk beds. Human interaction. He obviously doesn't have any hygiene because he's naturally lubricated. And trivial environment. So this is his fun, basically. Right, Eva. Swipe something, girl. Please, swipe the computer. Nope, she's not going to do the computer. She's going to take this. No, nope. what What did you even swipe? I don't even know. Can't steal any more today. Oh, I forgot that the cars counted as one. What did she actually steal, then? Uh, a floral rug. Are you serious? A rug? Really? We're going to just sell it because we don't need a rug. So we're going to sell it for some extra simoleons. Ray, are you already asleep? Oh, it is 10, a 10 p.m. and you have work tomorrow. Yep, he has work tomorrow too. Right, Bo, you should head home. Um, you obviously don't have work tomorrow because you're self-employed. 
She's gonna have a quick drink and Servo, you're gonna like short circuit, I swear. I don't think you should be outside when it's snowing. I don't think that's a good thing to do. But what I'm gonna do really quickly is actually buy some bunk beds for these two. So uh, let me just put this bed out here so I can use the pattern because I'm lazy like that. And comfort beds. Let's get, um, which bunk beds should we get? Like the highest ones? I don't know. Where are all the bunk beds? These futuristic ones, 1,600 simoleons. Are you kidding me? We'll get them anyway. So there we go. We got bunk beds for the boys. Well, for uh, Leonard and Charlie. And then let's take this. Put this on Charlie's bunk. He can have the bottom bunk. Actually, I kind of don't trust... Uh, um, I keep calling him Servo because of Sims 1. I kind of don't trust Leonard to uh, go up on the top bunk. So we'll give Charlie the top bunk. And Leonard can be... Do we have like a spacey one? Um, let's go on to Geometric. Here we go. We got some spacey ones down here. Um, maybe like this one? No, that's the same colour as the room. That one. I like that one. Okay, let's just leave it at that for now. It completely doesn't match, but well, <laughs> we'll just leave it as that. And then, Leonard, you can go to sleep. Look at his little face. He watches everything you do. He's like a genuine sim. That's so cool. This is a fact that I have never actually played with a sim bot. I hold my hands up and say I've never actually played with a sim bot, which is crazy, I know, and you guys are probably going to be judging me. <laughs> like, I can't believe you've never played with one, but I just haven't. I've never really explored it all that well, and I'm really glad we have one in our household. That's awesome. You can come sleep when you're back. She's over here just drinking her sorrows away. <laughs> Bless her. What are you doing? This house is so dirty. People need to learn how to clean their clothes in this place because this whole town is just disgusting. Why don't you come and use this? This is a really nice bathroom. It's very girly. Is there a girl who lives here? Are you sure it's just you, buddy? And his kitchen? His kitchen is a throwback to Sims 1. If any of you guys remember this, like, um, what's this called? L line? What's it called? I can't even remember what this kitchen flooring's called. Um, but I used to use this in all my Sims 1 builds. And I mean all of them. Like, all of my kitchens genuinely look like this. <laughs> and I don't know why. I think it's just because it, like, reminded me of an American diner. And when I was, like, how old was I when I was playing Sims 1? I must have been like, what, um, like seven? Yeah, I started Sims 1 when I was about seven. And yeah, all my, I just must have thought that was cool to have when you were, when I was young. <laughs> Which is really weird of me. I don't even know where I got that idea from. I'm fairly sure I'd never been to an American diner. So, um, yeah, I had no idea where that idea came from. But I honestly thought red kitchens were all the rage and kind of wanted one in my own house. I'm fairly sure I asked my mum for it, um, but she obviously turned it down because she didn't approve. <laughs> she turned down my request. I was so sad. That was a sad moment of my childhood. I can't believe Sims 1 came out that long ago. That's crazy. It was actually the 15th anniversary a couple of days back, which is insane. That makes me feel so old, like so, so old. But I think I'm going to actually end this part here though, guys. Sorry that it was a little on the short side, as you guys know. I am pre-recording currently and I need to get a ton of videos done. So sorry that this was cut a little bit short, but I hope you all understand. We did get a sim bot in this part, which is crazy. And I'm so excited to continue to get to know Leonard and play around with him and stuff like that. He's also a natural cook and a hydrophobe, obviously, because... He's a robot and if he gets water on him then he'll short circuit and basically die. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye on him when it's raining outside and make sure he doesn't leave the house or give him an umbrella. 
Maybe umbrellas work on them. I don't know. We've got to try and investigate this stuff. And speaking of investigating, definitely leave your comments and suggestions on what you want Charlie to do, whether you just want him to leave his career now and um, stuff like that, or whether you want him to continue for a little bit and then go into the investigator career. So let me know your opinions on that. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this part, please do give it a big thumbs up and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys!